Hello, my name is Sarah Jane and I have great pleasure today in introducing Jackie Bent, the founder of If Everyone Cares. Welcome Jackie. Thank you very much Sarah. As Sarah said, my name's Jackie and I'm the founder of If Ever of well, let me just put my teeth back in. As Sarah says, my name's Jackie and I'm the founder of If Everyone Cares. Gosh, that's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? If Everyone Cares is a project that came about because of a dream and a frustration. Have you ever had that in life where you're so frustrated about something that you've really just got to do something? Well, I was frustrated by a couple of things. One, how on earth do you choose what charity to give to? There are so many amazing ones out there. Not there just. Absolutely, totally and utterly. And then I remember back to a time in my life when there was help I needed and I had no clue of where to go. And I know that some of these projects out there, the charities, the people that you want to help now are the ones who could have helped then. But I didn't have a clue where to find them. So it started from a dream of, OK, if I can't choose which one to help, then is there a way to help all of them? Now, that may sound as though I was biting off more than I could chew. So... If Everyone Cares has one main goal, to create an interactive global community map. And that community map would be a bit like Google Earth. And if you can go to Google Earth and you can find a hotel or a restaurant, then how amazing would it be to use the same sort of technology to create this global community map that highlights all of the great things that are going on in the world, these amazing projects, and so it, the idea is to pinpoint all of the community projects, charities, non-profits, so that people can find the help when they want to, find where they can go and volunteer when they want to volunteer. But on top of all of that, if there are projects running that are similar in different parts of the world, then they can get together, they can share resources and tools, and they can reduce their running costs. And by doing that, they've got more money to help those they're intending to help. So that's if everyone cares. And that's who I am. Brilliant. Oh, that's excellent. Now, I believe that you're participating um, in a competition to do with uh, Richard Branson and Virgin Unite. Um, something to do with his latest book, Screw Business as Usual. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Mm, yes, definitely. The universe is an amazing thing. If everyone cares, as I said, started from a dream and a frustration. And all the way along the line, since it was launched in March 2011, you sort of send up these little prayers. What's my next step? What do I do next? How do I make this a reality? Because I don't want it to just be a dream. And uh, back in about November, I was, you know, what is my next step? <laughs> what do I do? And then I came across the book, Screw Business as Usual. And I read it and it was fantastic. It was highlighting all of these amazing companies out there and projects that are doing incredible things in the world. And then I discovered Richard Branson has done it again. <laughs> There's a challenge. He wants people to tell the world how they would screw business as usual, how they would do things differently. And I really felt that if everyone cares, fits that niche. We're mm -hmm. doing things differently, utilising today's technology to find a way to really highlight everything that's good that's going on in the world. And so we entered the competition, we put a video up. Now we were a little bit late putting our video up, probably about eight weeks into the challenge. And we've put it up, it just explains what we're doing, the idea of the global interactive um, community map and Brilliant, we've got that up and actually at this point in time we're running in the top five, which is fantastic. Now, the prize, because yes, it's a competition, the prize is a connection trip with Richard Branson and a whole group of amazing entrepreneurs. In other words, an incredible group of mentors who have ideas, who take action, who can inspire us even more and help us to discover what our next steps are. So I said that prayer to the universe and the universe provided by Richard Branson and the screw business as usual challenge. So we have our video on Virgin Unite and it's incredible. The reaction from people, people I've never met, the emails, the 
comments from people, believe it or not, after over 1,600 emails that I've personally sent out to people I've been connected with on Twitter or Facebook or something like that, we have only had two people come back with responses that one could call maybe slightly negative, or well, one of them was very negative, but two people out of over 1,600 to me, and I've had literally hundreds of emails saying, way to go, you know, great for taking action, go for it, this is amazing, oh my goodness, I've heard about projects that people have started and they're like, that would be incredible if we could link with somebody else. Oh, we could see, oh, the reactions have just been phenomenal. It's been mind-blowing, the reactions that we've had from people. So the competition is amazing. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure there'll be a link below this video. Please, <laughs> April, the middle of April, April the 17th, voting stops. April the 17th, 2012, in case you're watching this in the future, voting stops. At that point, if we're in the top five, we are in the running for winning that connection trip. And that would make a huge difference. I am not going to be like the contestants on X Factor or Pop Idol who go, it's my only chance, because honestly, we're going to do this anyway. This will just help us to do it that little bit quicker, because we can utilise the minds and brains of some incredible people out there in the world who are doing things in this vein, making a difference and helping to make the world a better place. We can utilise them and we can give back to them as well. It's all about sharing. It's all about give, give, win, win totally right the way along the line so what's the um the your website address for if everyone cares ah very simple www.ifeveryonecares.org nice and simple and on that main home page at the moment while the competition is live there is a picture at the top click on that picture that will link you through to virgin unites website and Please be patient, it takes about 15 seconds and our video will come up automatically and then you can see it. To vote, you need to either click the Facebook like button, the tweet button or Google plus one. Or if you really, really like what we're doing, please click all three because it's three votes. Thank you. Okay. At the moment, how is If Everyone Cares being funded? Hmm. Okay. At the moment, if everyone cares, is being funded out of my pocket. Um, there's myself and I have two incredible volunteers. Um, we've been working on it for nearly a year. Um, everything, whether it be newspaper, uh, paper, stationery, the websites, the cost of that, the um, auto-responders so that we've got a mail li mailing list, networking that I've done, I've done networking about it, and I've been doing research in the background to see if, if everyone cares is really something that people would like and could use and that it would make a difference in people's lives. All of that's been done out of my pocket. Now I'll be very honest, because I've been working on If Everyone Cares, I haven't been working on my own personal work. And so therefore the funds are getting just a little bit slim to say the least. In fact, my credit cards are, um, they're really happy actually because they've been being used for the first time in a long time. And they're getting a bit full. So that's how it's been funded. I don't mind. I'm actually at the stage where I'm considering that I may need to put my house on the market. And I don't mind that because I believe in the project so much. I really see how it can help people from, as I say, the research that I've done. There's almost every walk of life, if everyone cares, and the interactive global community map can help them. If they're at home and they've got time and they want to volunteer then it helps them to do the research about the projects first so they can see where they want to go and volunteer. If they need help, the number of people that I spoke to who said if they, they needed help, a time in their life, and usually it's at night and there's nobody to ring. Yes, in the UK we have the Samaritans and everything else, but some people think that they're bothering them. But if you could go to the global community map, click on your area and actually see what projects are working in your area. Then you can have done your research and you know there's somewhere you can go to the following morning for the help. Now, somebody said to me, oh, well, for goodness sake, there's Google. You just Google anything. I, I mean, 
Google is fantastic if you know what words you're looking up. But if you don't know the right words to put into Google, you don't find it. If you go to an interactive global community map, you click on your area, then you see all the projects that are in your area. So it helps you to refine, to see what you're looking for. So it, it has, it, it does, it, it outweighs Google. I'm terribly sorry, sorry Google, but the interactive global community map will far outweigh what Google can do for people, for individuals when they need the help. But putting, linking projects together, I mean, we have towns that twin with each other in, in the UK, the States, France, Europe, whatever. We have towns that twin with each other. But if you can link projects, I had an amazing email from a wonderful young lady and she's created a game to help children learn about environmental issues. And she takes it into projects in the area where she lives and she's teaching the, the, the volunteers there how to work with the children so they can get the best from it. Imagine if she could do that with projects around the world. She could introduce this game to projects around the world so that children are getting a, an even greater education, but also the adults who are then helping the children play the game. I mean, the knock-on effects from things like that are phenomenal. Um, it just expands the reach of what everybody can do. And that's what If Everyone Cares is about, is expanding the reach. Now, I said about every walk of life. What about companies? Companies that want to support the projects within their own towns. Now they can see what's going on. Now the global community map is more than just the map. My idea long term is that every project is then linked to a website. That we actually help them to get their very own website. We have t um, video trainings to show them how they can do that and create that website. The website is then linked to social media, to YouTube, to Facebook, to Twitter, so that they can get the word out there as well. So these companies can actually find the project, see videos of what's going on, all the different things, and they can actually support the projects in their own communities. Knock-on effect, and actually I almost in time see them having this little badge that goes on their business website that says we support whatever it is through If Everyone Cares. So If Everyone Cares becomes almost like a badge that companies can wear because they show that they're making a difference in the world. They're supporting communities, they're giving back to the communities they work in. And to me, every walk of life, Somebody benefits from If Everyone Cares and the interactive global community map. And there is so much more in the back of my head. We almost have a 10 year plan. This is the tip of the iceberg. So basically everybody who wears that badge is saying, we care. Yes, because that's what it's like, that's what it's about. Life is about caring, being part of a community. And it's a global community. It's, I get carried away because I'm so passionate about it and I see that it could make such a huge difference to people's lives. Excellent. So are you a charity at the moment? We're not at the moment. We are in the process of creating and forming our charity status. It is such a job. We now have meetings with agendas. <laughs> we are working on our objects because we want to make sure that we can actually do all the things we want to do in the future. So we're taking a long-term view of what If Everyone Cares is. It isn't about just doing one thing. It's actually looking at the, the global map and how it can expand in time and move forward to actually create more of a positive change within communities and help communities, bringing communities together, whether they be in, in Africa, America, Australia, Asia, the UK. It doesn't matter where they are. Actually bring them together. Have you had any support from any businesses to date? We had one amazing business back at the very beginning. Um, I've got to give them a shout out. St Paul's Mint in Birmingham. Oh, we have an If Everyone Cares token. It is about paying it forward. And St Paul's Mint, one telephone call and they supported us. They donated the first 2,000 of the tokens. Uh, the token, the idea is if you've seen the film Pay It Forward, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, go watch the film, it's brilliant. You get a token 
and you go and do something nice for somebody else and then you pay it forward by giving them the token and asking them to do something nice for someone else as well within the community. And so the coins get passed on and on. Now we've only given about 500 of them out, so we, at this moment we have about 1500 left. So the tokens are there, St Paul's Mint was fantastic, great. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Jackie? Just if you get the chance to go and see the video, please go and see the video and please vote. Thank you so very, very much. Sarah, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure, Jackie. Thank you so very much for this interview. And folks, obviously, I'm supporting if everyone cares. We would love it if you do, if it feels right to you. And thank you for watching this interview. Thank you.